Hey guys. Hey fellow YouTubers, let me just show you my new tricked out 1542 car topper. I just want to tell you, I'm in South Florida, there's a lot of canals. This is just one canal. This has kind of a launch ramp. But look on the other side. This year, I've been going to banks like that, taking that little 1542 car topper you just saw me drive up with, and I'm sliding it down that bank, and I'm launching it in places there are no launch ramps, and they're just full of fish, and it's just fantastic fishing. I've had great, great fishing this year because of the fact that I have a boat like this. This is a 15-foot car topper, weighs 200 pounds, and let me just show you how I can by myself load it I have a couple tricky things. I got a front deck. I got a special propeller for the trolling motor. I got a special anchoring system. I got to show you some of these tricked out deals because it really makes fishing great in these out of the way places. Let me, let me get started. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to untie everything. Kind of a cool deal. I just pull it out, hold on myself. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Okay, it drops down first on the first tailgate, and then a little bit farther, right there. That's it, now all I'm gonna do is turn it over. Let it flop on the ground. Boom. Okay, boys. Trolling motor. Now here's my deck. This deck is really cool. I got a little pedestal seat if I want to use it. I just have it screwed down. It only weighs about 30 more pounds. I got a nice little bracket for my trolling motor. Okay, let's get a few things unloaded. It's kind of a cool deal is a rudder system. Now a rudder is so important because I'll be up at the front of the boat and as the wind blows, it'll push the back of the boat around. And so I'm gonna take this rudder, I'm gonna attach it to the back of the boat. Just attach it in there. Now, son, I have a rudder. I'll let, let it down a little bit farther in the water. That will keep the back of the boat from swinging around, okay? Okay, folks, the next step is let me show you my anchoring system. It's really kind of unique, so it's here, here it is. I got a roofing friend, Dan Greenling, who races swamp buggies, and he, has, he gives me lead, now poor lead, into, into Coke cans, and that weighs six pounds. Okay, I drop this down to the ground, take this rope. Remember, I'm up front. So I'm gonna take this rope right through here. I got some loops all tied in this thing. Okay, let's watch this, I come forward. Come forward all the way to here. Come forward all the way to here. And I got a loop right here on this, on this screw, okay? Now, it doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like much. But when I go to anchor, what I do is I lift this up, drop the anchor, the anchor goes all the way out, and now I tie it, I can have another little, I'm gonna have one tied right here. And I have one tied right here. And now I'll have anchor in like 10 feet of water. Okay, so for right now, I'll pull the anchor up, pull it up, Tie it to my spot. Okay, I'm ready to go. That's the rear anchor. Now in a little small boat, you might want a front anchor. So I got a front anchor, and I'm not gonna go through all that tying it up stuff with the front anchor. I'm just gonna take the front anchor, and I'm just gonna have it, again, it's a lead weight, six pounds. I'm just gonna put it up front where I'm gonna be, and I can just drop it over the side if I need it. That's just if I need it. Okay, okay, that's the next thing trolling motor okay remember I'm talking about bass fishing on a budget this isn't just your regular trolling motor let me explain I'll come over mounted on my bracket and I'll show you the modification I've done okay the modification let me screw it down real quick that's not a big deal but I've done quite a modification here years ago I was working for Minn Kota trolling motors and they wanted a more weedless propeller. So we tried a bunch of different kinds of propellers. And 30 years ago, I came up with this Roland Martin weedless wedge propeller. Here's one of the originals right here. That's a 30-year-old that's a deal. And I patented it. It's a patent. 
And so this leading edge is really weedless. And in this thing I said, hey, I'll eat any weeds that wrap around this prop. And I never had to eat any weeds in 30 years. <laughs> so anyway, my patent is, it ran for 20 years and I had three years of patent pending. So they used this prop for 23 years and today, even today, 10 years later, they still use the same propeller on all their trolling motors. Okay, so what I did, I adapted this. This is not a Minn Kota trolling motor. This is a Bass Pro Shop trolling motor, which I get at a discount for just a couple hundred dollars. It's not an expensive trolling motor. But with this new prop, Roland Martin Weedless Wedge, I can go through any weeds in the whole world. It's more powerful, gives me more thrust, and it's completely weedless. So that's my innovation. I'm going to take this as a spare. Okay, let me get a battery. Okay, let me just show you my choice of batteries. You need a real good dependable battery. And there's nothing quite as dependable as this deck. I've been using these things for years. Let me make sure I don't have a bad connection. I'll hook up the trolling motor first. Let's, let's just turn it off. Trolling motor's on. Okay. Okay, see, I have forward and I have reverse. Okay, I'm ready to go. Now, the only thing that I need to, to do at this point is probably tighten this up a little bit more. And I'm almost ready to go fishing. You know, it's not a hard deal to do. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this boat. What's so cool about it is that I have a live well here. Look at this, look at this. It's a live well that has a, a pretty good sized live well. I can use it as dry storage, I can use it as an ice box, or I can use it to put fish in, whatever you want to do. But it's a nice storage compartment. Now, I've got to have life vests. i got enough right underneath the front deck. i got a nice place for life vests. I can go right here with my life vest. That's legal. I put my, I can use my pedestal seat right there, or I can use an ice chest with all my stuff in it. Now I don't have, I'm not gonna make a long trip out of it, so I don't have much in the ice chest right now, but let me get my tackle. I got my tackle bag right here. I can put it on the seat if I want. I put my rods, I always face them to the back in case you go by a, a bush or a log, it won't catch them. And except for a hat, I'm ready to launch this boat. I love, love doing the fish brain stuff. I, I, I catch whatever big fish I catch, and I, put, I post it on fish brain get a lot of a lot of response on that okay i might need some help pushing this in but we're gonna go ahead and push it in the water okay 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 boys wait a minute one more thing one more thing folks that's so important and that is a drain plug <laughs> I have lo left, I know you've done the same thing. It's one of the worst things you can do. You leave the drain plug, leave the drain plug on the shore. Now, put the drain plug from the inside. That's another good tip. It won't get knocked out that way. Put the drain plug here, tighten it up. Adjust this. Okay, I'm gonna take my push pole Put my push pole in the boat, right here. Slide it in. I'm ready to go fishing, folks. First, I'm gonna show you how fast this thing is. With this 55 pound thrust trolling motor, it goes crazy. Look how much speed I have. Watch this thing go. It goes fast, really fast. I got my anchor right here. Slow down how I want it. Drop my anchor. Oh. Okay, anchor's in. I'm all squared away. I've gone forward a couple more feet. If I want to drop my front anchor, I can drop my front anchor. Nope. Tie it to anything I want. In this case, a, a nice chest. That's a good place to anchor. 
Now you're anchored. Now, I'm in an anchored position. I can pick up a rod. And I can fish to my heart's content. I can go five miles now with this little boat. Make nice long casts with anything I want to do. Anchor whenever I want to anchor. I'm fishing almost virgin water. I'm fishing these canals and these little waterways that nobody ever gets to. And so I catch a lot of big fish doing this. So folks, think about getting a Tracker Marine at 1542 car topper like this. Rig it up with a nice deck, get a good anchorage system, get a good trolling motor. Hey, and you'll catch some big bass too. Listen, I enjoyed doing this YouTube video with you guys. It always works out. I just, I just love this YouTube and it's just a lot of fun. And I'm a how-to guy. I can explain things like I'm explaining. I'm an old school teacher and I'm an old, I've been doing television for 25 years. No, I've been doing television for 45 years, I'm sorry. And so I know how to tell you a few things about fishing, whether I can do them as well as I can tell you, I don't know, but I can at least tell you about it. Okay, folks, we'll see you again next week. And remember, my YouTube channel comes on on Sundays and Wednesdays. And I don't know if this will be a Sunday or Wednesday broadcast, but I hope this little car topper is gonna help you out in your fishing.